Hey folks, Chris from the Class Help Desk team, and we're just going to do a quick introduction, just a little five minute intro about what's going on with class, a little bit of orientation. Let's take a look. So here we are in class. When you log in, you'll land on these message boards and you'll see that there's this class message which comes from NACLAC. So if we've got some big picture things we want you to know about, we'll be able to uh, message you there. Also keep in mind, we can link to things like getting documentation and things like that. Uh, and also the center level CLC or FVPLS, you'll be able to put your own messages in here and you can scroll down and get to it and put in links and things of relevance to you. So having a look at the whole thing, think of it as a sort of upside down website in terms of how the menus work. We can see these bottom menus here. Uh, class and community are the two big main ones, I guess. Class essentially slightly interestingly named. This is the main part for all services for individuals, whereas community is services for the community. So here's all your uh, community legal education projects and things like that hidden away. Um, system settings, tools and reports. Uh, some of these functions aren't quite fully on board yet. Uh, that's not to worry about they'll be coming in soon uh, and they're mainly for administrators so for most workers to do their work they want to be sitting on class because that's where we deal with all our clients and intake flows and things like that okay so obviously when you click on them it changes what's above so that's how that works now we'll zip through these main ones so this is where you can just do your old-fashioned conflict check similar to perhaps the procedure that you've used in Silsus. So you could do a conflict check, find a person, um, click on them. And if your center is set up that way, you'd be allowed to create a service off that person, uh, providing of course there is no conflict on them or the other parties, etc. The new intake procedure is a brand new feature. It basically walks you through a process that includes conflict checking everybody. Uh, it's also the only place that you can put in informations and referrals. I'll just click on that so you can have a quick look. And here it is. This is um, step one. It's a five-step process. Uh, there's another video that explains this in great detail. But you can, just by saving service, save informations and referrals just from this page. And this should cover all the information you need. Now here, the next one, two are two search options, search clients and search services. Fairly obvious what they are. I'll just click on the search clients. And here, obviously, you'd put in mainly first name, last name, uh, perhaps be able to deal with uh, more detail if you've got it on uh, where they live and things. Now, there'd be more detailed searchability from reports. When they come up, reports will be available in a couple of weeks after you roll over. Uh, so don't panic that not everything's there. For those who can see it, there's also, you can customize some columns. There may be some more um, options for you to say, choose. You can basically drag and drop something like keywords in there and I'll drop it in and say you don't really need um, gender or something along those lines and um, that will save your personal settings while you're in this session. Search services is fairly similar. Now I won't explain the full search method here. There's obviously a difference between conflict check and these ones. I'll reserve that to another video. Triage is your list of triage services and triage service is one of the options for intake when you don't know what service you're doing. Um, different people will be using this in different ways. The traffic light system of red, yellow, green in terms of priority. And essentially you may be using that because say you've got volunteers taking information down on the phones um, and then just saving it for a solicitor to look later or something along those lines. The next three, essentially you can search critical dates such as upcoming say court cases or um, limitations and things like that, that you've put in and attached to services. And then you've got my critical dates are just the things that are attached to you personally. and my services are a bunch of services that you've created or have been assigned to you uh, and you can do a basic search on that as well so that's all i really wanted to show you you can dig into your projects and the project services keep in mind that all services for the community are live inside projects so you probably want to start there and the other thing to note along the top as you go along, previous things you've looked at will stay here until you close them. And that's important that if you've done some work on a client or a service, you want to save it before um, actually clicking up here and closing it. If you don't, it'll give you a reminder. And back here, you can head back to home. So that's all I wanted to really show you there, other than maybe a little signing out at the end of the day, etc. But again, make sure you've saved everything there. But this is kind of good if you, because you can now... Uh, have two, say, clients or three clients up and running at the same time dealing with services. You don't lose stuff if you you know have to pick up a phone call and go back to something else. But um, the best thing to do is not let these tabs get out of control. Just close the things that you've finished up with. I'm going to leave it there.